Greetings, my lord. This is the main screen of the game. Here you can see the resources of your domain, the mini-map of the world, and your capital. From here, you can also open the research window, the spell book, enter your capital, and command your troops. In the city view, you can rename your city, switch between them, and select which buildings to construct and which units to recruit. To construct a building, choose one from the list of buildings and point to a hex where you wish to construct it. Remember that you may construct buildings only inside your city's boundaries, and that construction is possible only if you have enough resources, sufficient population, and a suitable free hex. Some buildings also require other buildings to be erected first, or the presence of a local resource, such as gold or donkeys. In order to hire a unit, you must first have built the requisite structures, and you must possess sufficient resources. My lord, you have opened the research window. Here you can choose a spell to research. Choose wisely and consider the information that appears when you hover the cursor over each spell's icon. This is your spell book, which contains all the spells you have learned. Note the indicator beside each spell's icon. This shows how much time is required to cast the spell. To give an order to a unit, you must first select it with a left click of the mouse. The selected unit can then be ordered to move or to attack. Orders are given also by mouse. You may finish your turn by pressing the End Turn button at the bottom of the screen, or simply by pressing the Enter key. The number of hexes a unit can travel in a turn depends on the movement type of the unit, its number of movement points, and the terrain type over which it is traveling. Flying units may cross almost any terrain without hindrance. Most landbound units can cross the seas on ships, provided you have built a harbor in one of your cities. If a unit has spent all of its movement points, it cannot move further or attack that turn. Note that attacking uses up all remaining movement points. In order to attack an enemy, your unit must be within striking distance. When you move your mouse cursor over a potential target, the battle prediction window will display. This allows you to consider the probable outcome of the attack. Your units may capture cities. To capture a city, you must defeat any unit in the city's castle, defeat the castle itself, and then enter it with one of your units. My lord, you have received the first humble request for your assistance. You may agree to grant it, or you may refuse. But do consider who is asking. It is unwise to refuse quests offered by the gods. They may become quite angry if you refuse, and even more angry if you fail to complete a task. You have opened the diplomacy screen. From here, you can enter negotiations with other great mages who you have encountered. With them, you may offer trade, make peace, or non-aggression packs, declare war, and so on. Also note the Circle of Gods, which shows you how you yourself and the other great mages stand with the gods of Ardania. To improve the relationship with a god, you may complete his or her quests. Improving these relationships will allow you to gain new spells and hire his or her servants. Your units can explore new territories, raise enemy buildings in the lairs of terrifying monsters, 
and gather loot from lost trade caravans and wrecked trade ships. In their travels, your troops may find portals to other worlds. To enter a portal, simply send a unit to its hex. But I must warn you, my lord, that other worlds can be very dangerous places indeed. You had better have quite an army, or first send in a recon force. I would recommend a low-level unit, or even the summon troop, someone that won't be sorely missed. 